So in this video, we are going to be searching for which brand makes the best basic sweater. So I got sweaters anywhere from $30 all the way to $200. So I wanted to compare and see which one is the best one for a basic sweater. All of these come in many colors and I try to get basic sweaters in slightly different fits from each other. They're all a crew neck style and like mock neck styles. And I think that's a very classic and timeless type of sweater. So my goal for this video is to help you you guys find a basic sweater and fit that's very high quality and that just looks and feels really nice. So I have three different brands that I'm comparing with each other. So we have Everlane, Quince, and Amazon. So I could have bought sweaters from like 10 to 15 different brands, but they all started to blend together. It was honestly a little bit overwhelming. So I just narrowed it down to three of my tried and true brands that I love going to for a basic sweater. So we're going to compare the three and see which one makes the best one so without further ado hit the subscribe button if you are new and let's go ahead and get started let's start off with the alpaca sweater so i recently got the everlane one which is this one right here you guys know i've been raving about it since i got it i love how soft it is i love the fit it's so classic and timeless comes in so many colors but it retails for a hundred dollars which is pretty pricey and i saw quince made the exact I kid you not the exact same sweater but for $50 there's this like a baby alpaca sweater and that's actually what I'm wearing here I kid you not you guys they are the exact freaking same there's absolutely no difference between the two feeling of it the fit of it the weight of it the neckline like everything is the same I'll put them side by side here you guys they are so identical and I swear either Quince or Everlane bought one of each other's sweaters and literally made an exact version of it. I love this sweater. So the Everlane one is fabulous. The Quince one is just as fabulous. The difference with the Quince one is that it is a little bit more fitted. So the Everlane, it's an oversized fit and style. And in the Everlane one, I'm wearing it in a extra, extra small. And the Quince is in an extra small. That's the difference with the fit. Just it runs a little bit smaller for the quince one, but I pr actually prefer that because I don't want it so oversized. I actually really like this fitted look to it. Both sweaters are fantastic. However, since they are the exact same, I recommend the quince one because it's half the price. Okay, next Everlane sweater that I'll be comparing to a very similar Amazon one is the oversized Stroop Waffle turtleneck sweater in recycled cashmere. This retails for $195. So after taxes, I paid $213 for this sweater. So I think it's a very beautiful sweater. It is very high quality, does not lack in quality, does not lack in fit. I think it's absolutely beautiful, but I do not think it's worth it for $200. I think that is a little too pricey and I understand that it's like recycled cashmere it's very soft it fits and feels very nice but it is overpriced so the amazon one is this one right here so this is by the amazon brand the drop and actually if you're going to get sweaters on amazon I want to point out my top brands to get from Amazon are Amazon brands specifically. So Daily Ritual, The Drop, and Amazon Essentials. This one is called the Chunky Rib Mock Neck Sweater. This one retails for $49.90. So it is very similar to the Everlane Stroop Waffle sweater. And if you know, see them side by side here, they look very similar. The Amazon one does have more weight to it. It's a lot thicker. And I think it's a little bit more oversized comparing it to the Everlane Stroop Waffle. Also, I love that name, Stroop Waffle. That just sounds so awesome. But I do love the Amazon one. It's like has more weight to it it's chunkier it's like your perfect oversized sweater for fall that you'll wear with either leggings or denim jeans and ankle boots it's like the perfect type of sweater for that i will be returning the everlane one so unfortunately i can't really compare how well it'll hold up but i will be keeping the amazon one and i'll keep you guys posted on how it holds up okay next up let's keep going with quince i got a lot of sweaters from there because they're really just known for their basics they're almost the same as Everlane, which honestly is pretty funny. Uh, they make 
the exact same types of sweaters as Everlane, so that's why I wanted to get a bunch there and just compare. This next one here is the 100% Organic Cotton Fisherman Crew. I love this one. I recommended this to you guys in several videos for my fall videos and this comes in many colors i'm wearing this in an extra small they retail this for 39 dollars and 90 cents and it's very affordable so it has a nice chunky rib material to it and what i love about it is the weight of it it's heavy and it looks and feels so high-end and so expensive the thing i love about organic cotton is that it's very soft and that's one thing i love about a sweater is i'm looking for a soft sweater also it's a lot easier to maintain cotton versus like alpaca for example or cashmere this next one from quince is the 100 organic cotton boyfriend crew it retails for 39 dollars and 90 cents and honestly this one isn't my favorite i think it's too oversized for me. The sleeves are really long. It also has kind of a balloon look to it on my torso. So it's really wide in the torso and then it kind of cinches in at the bottom here and it kind of gives that like balloon look to my frame, which I don't like personally. It doesn't feel soft either. Actually, it's funny because this is 100% organic cotton, but it doesn't feel soft. So it's probably just the way the stitching and everything is put together, but I will be returning this one and it does come in multiple colors. So if you do like the fit, this is a good sweater. It has a good weight to it. This next one is also by Quince. It is the Mongolian Shrunken Cashmere Sweater. This retails for $69.99, so $70, and for a cashmere sweater that is under $100, this is fabulous. If you love cashmere sweaters, looking to stock up, I would say definitely go with this one because I've tried cashmere sweaters way above $100. This is exactly the same. It's very like lightweight, it's soft, it fits really nicely, and they also have slightly different fits of this cashmere sweater. This is the shrunken version, so it's more cropped. They also have ones in a regular fit, if that's what you prefer. I like the shrunken because I'm petite. Okay, and then this next one is the 100% organic cotton mock neck sweater. I have it in this charcoal gray color, and this retails for $39.90. I personally don't like the fit of this one. It's a little too oversized. The sleeves are too long, but it is still a really good sweater for the sweater that it is. Um, on the model, it fit her totally differently, but on me, I just think it just doesn't work for me. This is still really beautiful. Uh, it has the raglan sleeves that go down the shoulder, and I think that's a really flattering way to make a sweater. It comes in many colors, also very affordable price point. So it is a really good sweater, but not my perfect sweater. So we're almost to the end of this video. At the end, I will share with you guys which sweater is my top favorite and what I recommend to stock up on and purchase in many colors so that way you have your basic sweater set for this fall and winter so i'll share that with you guys in the end and don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this video so this next one is the everlane texture cotton crew neck sweater this retails for 100 so it is very it is very nice like it has really good weight to it the neckline is really thick and chunky and it's very nice i love the fit of this it's more cropped the seam on this shoulder is dropped so it kind of has that bat wing look to it also in the back it has like this white stitching going down the shoulders which i think is unique i haven't seen that before and i love this charcoal gray color i think this comes in another color or two okay so those were all the quince and everlane ones a couple amazon ones i'll share with you guys here so let's start off with actually this olive green one <laughs> all these sweaters and the fuzz is like getting in my mouth it's just Sorry. So this one is the Daily Ritual Cotton Crew Neck Sweater. I have it in this beautiful olive green color. This retails for $32.80, I believe. Also, I can't be so exact with the Amazon pricing because I swear they change the pricing like every day. Either go up a little bit, down a little bit. When I'm looking online now, right now it says $32.80. Could be a little bit more than that later, a little bit less. But this one is nice. It's not like super thick. It's not super thin. Uh, just a really good classic crew neck cotton sweater has a pretty good fitted look to it but i think it's a little bit too big for me the way it's supposed to look so i have this in an extra small i'm not sure if this comes in a size smaller but 
it's still really nice. It's not like super big or anything. It's a good fitted sweater and I do love this olive green color. It's really pretty. Next Amazon one is also by Daily Ritual. This looks pretty similar to the olive green one. However, this one is called the Cotton Mock Neck Crew. It also retails for $32.80 and this one has the raglan sleeves going down the shoulder. So that's the difference between this one here and then the olive green one. The shoulder seam is a little bit different and this one does run kind of big. So I have this in a extra small and it does run slightly big but I think it's really cute. It's a nice color, affordable price point and the feeling and texture of it is exactly the same as the olive green ones. Both are great, affordable price point and both come in many colors. Okay so those were all the sweaters that we were comparing with today. Today, I have to say my favorite one is the Quince baby alpaca sweater. I think this one is phenomenal. It is so soft. It's lightweight, but not like a cheap lightweight, like a very expensive high-end quality sweater. And I love how it keeps you warm, but you're not boiling in it. And I also love the alpaca material in it because it makes it so soft and like more stretchy and buttery and just amazing. So like I mentioned, the Everlane one, they sell that one for $100. Honestly, go for the Quince one. I think it is 100% worth it. Comes in many colors and I love the fit of this. This is just my top recommendation if anyone is looking for a classic basic sweater in such a high quality fit and material feels and looks so luxe and expensive and I just love that it's $50 because you can get two for the price of the Everlane one which is amazing. So hopefully this was a helpful video for you guys on finding the perfect basic sweater. And as always everything is linked in the description box down below for you guys if you happen to be interested in anything. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you next time. Bye!